Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Romaka. On this channel, we do all things lifestyle, vlogs, and travel. So if you like to see more of these videos, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we have a new video. Today's video, I'll be sharing with you my 2022 luxury wish list. Not that big, quite small actually. But um, my plan this year is to adopt the principle of luxury minimalism. So basically it's about, you know, buying less, but better quality things. And um, this I think will help me have time to think and uh, be more thoughtful of the quality items that I plan on adding into my life or my lifestyle. And uh, it's going to help me spend uh, it's going to help me on my spending basically well but i won't have to spend too much on things that i'll never wear or i'll never use so basically i have a few things that i'd love to share with you and i'll go through them in no particular order in no particular order so the first thing that i'll want to buy this year is a vlogging camera i've mostly been using my phone and boy i think this phone has been abused <laughs> literally uh my plan this year is to do more vlogs i've not done so many last year i did really a few this year i started doing a bit more and um to motivate myself i feel like if i go extra if i invest so if I, if I invest into equipment and all that it's going to make me you know it's going to give me that guilty cautious and make me want to do more of the vlogs be more consistent so the vlogging camera that i'm looking forward on buying is quite relative i had i was eyeing two but the other one is a bit on the high end and uh there is the canon mark 2 g7x and the sony zv1 yeah but i think i'll be going for the canon g7 mark 2 and I honestly hope that it's going to give me the motivation to keep up with the vlogging. Because, <laughs> boy, because, yo, I'm lazing up. I'm lazing up in this anyway. So, the second thing that I would like to invest into is an iPhone 13 or 13 Pro Max. As I said earlier, this phone is just tired of me. I've been abusing it literally and it definitely needs an upgrade so i'm planning on getting a newer phone so probably the 13 or 13 pro max god willing if 14 will be out by then maybe we'll see if it's within the budgeted range so the other thing that i will be investing into this year is the dior slim back pumps black ones to be specific i think that shoes speaks elegance and class Basically, it's going to be a staple in my wardrobe because I think if all put together, it's going to make an outfit look amazing. It's going to make an outfit look, you know, bougie or classic or, you know, timeless. I know most people won't like the shoe because of the tiny pump that it has, but I honestly don't care. I love the shoe. It's going to look amazing with my outfit and I'm going to go for it. The other thing I'm going to add on my luxury wish list is something that I never thought I'll ever invest on, but it's a watch. I am going to, I'm literally going to start a watch collection and I'm going to start with this. The Rolex Lady Day just, I think that watch has, it has just captured me so. <laughs> I've seen it. The moment I saw it, I realized I started seeing it in everything, like in YouTube videos, people, you know, status. I started seeing it everywhere. So it's like this moment where you think of buying a particular car because you have interest in it. Everywhere you go, everywhere you look, that's the only thing you see. It's like it's following you up and you're like, is the universe speaking to me? But basically it's because you have interest into that particular thing. Now you see it everywhere. Now you're wondering, why did I ever not think about getting this piece or this car or this cloth, whatever it is. So for me, it is this watch and I definitely have need or 
I have to get this watch this year. The other thing that I've added up in my wish list this year is a luxury perfume. Girl, I need to get myself a real portion of luxury perfume. And I'm thinking of the Baccarat Rouge or the one you say, is it Libra? However, it's pronounced that one. I've been like from the moment I got the sample of it and tried it and realized how good it was. The YSA Libra one, I started seeing it everywhere. Everyone is doing a story, and this is the scent of my day, and that's the perfume. Everyone is doing a video, this is the scent of the day, and that's the perfume. And I'm like, girl, I should definitely get myself one and stop using the samples because I loved it. And I think it's a good thing if you invest your <coughs> your money on the things you love, the things you like, because you won't regret it. And excuse me. <coughs> and for me, I think this year it's going to be more on uh, perfumes and the watch. I think I need to start a collection on this. This I've been using the binds for too long. I think they go, they have to go. They don't really give. They don't really give the vibe for me. They don't give the vibe for me. Like, nah, I need to change this. They don't really go away with some outfits. I need to upgrade these things. So this year, it's all about that. And last, that's all we have for today. Please leave a comment of what you have on your wish list. I would really love to hear from you. Also, if you'd like to see more of these videos or any kind of videos, let me know in the comment section below the kind of videos you'd like me to, to do. And um, I'll really appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.